Hey everybody, it's Tanya. I'm here with you today at 4482 Raptor Place. This is at Eagle's Landing subdivision out here in Snowville. I was just thinking as I drove into this subdivision, I remember when they were first starting to build it in the 2000s. And I remember bringing buyers out here and actually had some home buyers who purchased here because Snellville's excellent reputation and Gwinnett County Schools and uh, just, you know, the really neat neighborhood and the new construction. Construction here is low maintenance with the vinyl siding and, uh, you know, the, the not having to paint and all of that. So these are all things that everyone should consider, especially investors. When we're talking about buying a home. So let's run in and take a look at this. This house is a short sale. What does that mean? That means the people who lived here were part of that boom mortgage price or mortgage crisis that we have here in the U.S. They basically got a mortgage they couldn't afford, but they were tempted by this fabulous great room. I mean, it's huge. Windows on either end. We do have the blinds closed today. I apologize. Nice eat-in kitchen. Take a look at the size of this. We do need to put in new appliances. They've taken those with them. The garage is through that door. I'm not going to go out there because we don't have the power on, but here's what Tanya likes about this. You walk in to the kitchen from the garage, and this is really key when we're talking about coming in with your groceries. I don't know if you guys have to worry about that, but ladies, we all know what that's, that's about. Stepping out now to the backyard. So really great access from the kitchen to the backyard. People here in the south love to grill. We love to grill every night. In fact, in the summertime, that's pretty much all I do. And in the wintertime, much of the time is what I do. So we've got a nice little patio here. Short sales are somewhat like foreclosures. I do like one aspect of them a bit better. And that aspect is they haven't been vacant for a long period of time. Here we have a formal dining room. Head upstairs to see the bedrooms. And, you know, sometimes that's the tricky part of buying foreclosures. The power and the water haven't been on for a long time. We don't know if there's a leak. Of course, we have everything inspected. But when somebody's been occupying the home, you pretty much can be assured that there's not going to be any big surprises. This is a secondary bedroom. And this is the laundry closet. There's doors that go on here, which we'll reinstall with our contractor. Another small secondary bedroom. These rooms share a bathroom, and again, I apologize because we don't have power today. Tub shower combo, great basic bathroom. We are gonna replace all the paint and carpet in the home. We're now in the master. I'm gonna step back so you can see that large closet. That's always a big thing. I know that our property manager and Mary very much like this property, and you know, some of these things are the reason why. Let's see here, a garden tub. I love this little niche. We always look for uh, something that's a, a little bit of a wow factor. And little things like that mean so much to our uh, home buyers as well as our renters. This is a trade ceiling, isn't that beautiful? So lots of really neat features, a very updated floor plan, amazing price, pretty low rehab. I mean, we're really just looking at cosmetic things right here. I like this one, Eagle's Landing, Raptor Place. Thank you.